know each other. Well, 92 Dream Team was in fourth place. The Sonics were close to first place. I believe one point away, if I remember correctly. And somehow, 92 Dream Team, now Luminosi, slipped away right in. Now they're going to be playing on Coastline, as you can see down at the bottom. But they know each other well. They fought each other well. Sonics should be the favorite team, but so far, the way things have been playing out in Pro League, Luminosity seemed the one much more prepared for this level of play, which is ironic, given the fact that everyone on Sonics has played Pro League before. Yes. These are these are the, uh, they used to be jokingly referred to as the retirement home for Pro League players. The old elephant gang, basically. Yeah, the old elephant gang, exactly. So players that have been on other teams, like Avian, for example, had come from Rogue Super as well, had been on Rogue at one point. So these guys have been around. Let's see what you guys think of this matchup. I gotta imagine gonna go and lose. Yeah, there we go. That's uh, that's about right. And I wonder if that vote was done before or after the people knew it was Luminosity. I got to imagine after. Yes. Uh, and of course, you do get a little bit of bias towards big orgs. But in this case, I don't think it's the org bias this time. <laughs> Just off of their success. He has the grill open and he turned it up to 11 today because I like to grill, but man. It's a cool Parker. Oh, it must be the heat. Oh, it's this heat. This is like 80 degrees. It's, it's killing me. Let's not quote Parker on anything other than perfect. Okay. Let's agree to do that. <laughs> perfect. All right, perfect. So we'll see how the bands go down here for a coastline. Bit of congratulations in chat, which is always good. So please, chat, I'd like to, to give us an easy clap for Luminosity and a welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Lion, not going to be played here. Nope. <laughs> Unsurprising. We didn't have him, have him banned in the previous matchup, so that was... He actually hasn't been banned that much, given oh. the fact that he's in play again. Yep. I believe the only time he's been banned so far was by Reciprocity in their match against Rogue. There goes Buck, so that means a lot of vertical play is going to be pretty nerfed in terms of uh, how they're going to be able to play, at least from below. I imagine from above, they'll just use Breach Charges, but Pulse going to be also not playing from below. This is something we've seen quite a bit, though, Pulse being banned on Coastline. So that is not as much of a surprise. The Buck is a bit more of an iffy ban in the mirror, of course. Standard at this point. So I, I want to emphasize something you mentioned. It is true. This is the second time Lion is banned in all of North America so far. So we've had now 10 matches. Lion has been banned twice. The only other time was, specifically, Reciprocity versus Rogue on Villa that we had. I'm glad I write these things down correctly. Yes. I mean, I have Liquipedia for this that also gives me all of this information. Thank you, Monk, and the entire squad that does all of this. So Honestly, statistics are great, aren't they? When they're correct, absolutely. That's why you just got to make sure they're correct, and that's it. Odd going to stick into Lesion instead of the Mozzie. Hookah going to be the first site. This has pretty much become the standard for a lot of teams now. Super going to be sticking on that Nomad. It's going to make it a lot harder for them to make some rotates. So that's a, a pretty good choice here. We've seen, we saw quite a bit of good coastline earlier during EU. We even saw some nice combinations of Nomad and Gridlock to really try and stop rotates in the match with the uh, Mouse Sports. But it wasn't always effective, but it is still a nice idea. In this case, though, we'll have the Capital combined with it, something that's been banned a fair amount, but not going to be banned this match. Partially due to the Lion ban, I imagine. He's a pretty great operator so far, so I wouldn't be expecting him to be removed anytime soon. I mean, yeah, sure, a few bans here and there, but all teams are kind of getting used to playing Capital. I see four bans last week of Capital. Out of uh, eight matches, that's it's quite a bit. half the time. It's quite a bit. Now, Avian is well known for playing Capital quite a bit. He's also well known for hanging out in the ruins to talk to his team. <laughs> Sorry, call back there. But Neptune's the first to take the long sleep. And Rex with a nice peek, Jaeger peek there. That's why you don't give Maycog back. Before he even gets out of the pool. Yeah, let him get in the pool next time. That way at least... Pool's closed, okay? To be fair, there's no water in there, so I guess it wouldn't be as cool anyway. When there's glass that's broken. I don't think you can legally... Is that what happened? Yes. That's Clearly. Those party animals in Ibiza. Well, the camera going to be spotted there by Super. Obviously, nothing you can do about it with that drone. It's not a shock drone, but at least they spotted one black eyed. Their IQ, of course, now that he's dead, is not going to be able to spot those for him, so they're going to have to manually look for those cameras. So that is a big deal. Not to mention, of course, they've got the uh, evil eyes from Hyena. Should be pretty useful. A lot of intel overall from this team. Odd, uh, though, going to be on the roam. Roaming Legion, always a little bit of a dangerous gamble, but so far they've got a good start to be able to pull that off. And Odd uh, did stick that on a sneak uh, six-pick, so he might not have gotten spotted out as playing the Legion. 
as he was teasing the Mozzie, but that also might make them a little more cautious droning is thinking there's a Mozzie in play. But, you know, that the trick only lasts for so long. But Super, speaking of only lasting for so long, they're nearly dead already. Down to about 30, 40 health. Ooh, good fake out there from Odd. It's a good goo mine here to be set right at the doorway. Rexton solo will find Ghost. An easy kill and even pre-fires through the wall. No damage done for That's anybody through the theater, but that got pretty hairy there. Two for Rexon already. And that is now their, the uh, soft breach down. Now they've, all they've got is uh, Habana left to, to be able to do some breaching of any kind. No grenades left on the board or anything like that. So it's going to get tricky pretty quick. Oh, man. There's barely any holds that have been opened up here. That's one set of Xkyros. Only three will connect at that point out of the six. So not much to open up. AWD all-wheel drive at this point is just running on down. When you're... When you're when you're Sonics, you're assaulting the top floor, always clear the bottom before you go up. There was none of that being done. So right now, Luminosity, they're just getting free map control. I think, you know, when you're, when you're doing it, you have Nomad in play, you're counting on, we'll take enough map control to, to uh, nice kill there under Pixel. That is some denial, at least a C4. But you're counting on using the Nomad air jabs to set up so they can't rotate from the bottom floor up the stairs, because that's limited. You know, there's, there's two stairs. But they're not even getting any top floor map control really to do that. Hyena down low on health, but still alive enough to adjust cameras if need be. Luminosity might actually push here. Nope, they're just going to stay back and check the drone hole as Goddess is going to use her Xkyros further away and open up an extra big angle from the couch. But there's 10 seconds left. I mean, at this point, what are you trying to do? Plans. AWD has so many goo mines up, and he's right next to the cap. Now he pre-fires into one, but Goddess, no, the team fire. Oh, kills AWD, but Avian is right next to him. And at that point, honestly, the team kill doesn't really matter. Yeah. What matters is that you're pushing the side with 10 seconds and you're already down to one person. It's not great. No, it d definitely Rexon put a big hurting on the team, that early spawn peak, a great initial kill. And that's a, such a common spawn peak, too. <laughs> it's, I mean, you I mean, got to watch out for it, but... Like uh, Hot and Cold was saying yes, earlier, catch exactly. people not expecting it. and or Either early in the game or later in it, right? And I mean, Luminosity are known to play a little bit ranked to an extent, and that is kind of a ranked kind of move. So I'm not terribly surprised, and neither should the Sonics have been. They've played this team enough from Challenger League and playoffs and things like that. They should have been more prepared for that. But either way, already a good start for Luminosity as they go down now into the kitchen, see how well they play in the downstairs floor. As that buck will be banned, they do have the availability of a sledge to be able to open up the floor, but instead I can imagine they're going to count on Ghost opening it up with those breach charges. Maybe Neptunes as well bringing some breaches. It's very likely, so they will have some destruction, but I would say overall breach charges are less safe because you stand still for a while in a position where you could get C4'd. However, Pulse being banned means it's not as much of a risk. It means they have to depend more likely on the black eyes to be able to spot them for those C4s, so a little less risky and not as... Uh, problematic, especially if you can spot some of those black guys ahead of times with Neptunes on that IQ, which hopefully will live a little bit longer this time, as I think that did nerf their attack to an extent, although I don't think that would have made a difference on Rexon getting a kill, and he's looking for another one here. Pool party at Rexon's house. He does a little bit of damage on, well, I say a little bit, that's a half damage or more on the Avian. A high utility operator, definitely not one to lose early. Not great at all. This is, maybe they need a new spawn, because Rexon is just abusing it uncontested. Well, I actually got information now. It's thank you to, to Wes Dobler. It's Susquehanna. Susquehanna? Susquehanna. Sounds, sounds kind of Indian. Well, I mean, it, it literally is. Native American, sorry. There you go. Goddess will find one kill and another one for Avian Neptunes in. Just Luminosity kind of peeking against them. They'll find one here. Rexon, the fuser is being set, but a bit, it's a bit too close to the actual set in the back. And what is happening? They actually. What? Ghost is on his own. How did this even turn to this spot? There's an evil eye watching him the whole time, too. Just staring right in his face. Rexon is just on point. Ghost will still find one kill. He's down to 60% HP, and Rexon coming in for the rotation. That's why you leave majority of the wall soft, in case you want to fire behind it. Ghost will have to go for the plant. There's nobody able to watch him. I'm not sure if there's an evil eye anywhere near to support. Rexon is unsure. This plant's going to go down, yep. At least what you were looking for goes in for the peak, and Rexon with a pre fire goes slow on HP. Now, a single bullet will be more than enough to finish him off as he tries to run away. 
by the lobby, unsure. Now Rexon has information, but it's expired information. You need to pre-fire down at the center. Rexon, are you kidding me? He finds the kill and goes right by the Lamborghini doorway. And the Jaeger saved the day. He literally put the whole team on his back now in this round. Now Luminosity take a second round and on the board. I think we're mispronouncing his name. It's not Rexon, it's Rexum. <laughs> because, whoo, the man is on fire already. And that's not atypical of Jaeger roamers. I mean, you pick up people like Joystick, for example, or one of the more popular recent Jaeger roamers, but the spawn peaks combined with that. And again, that's why they took away ACOG, because that used to be a very common thing. Just ask uh, NVK, for example. It's a very good thing. Yeah, it is a good thing, because he's already doing enough damage, nearly killing Avian earlier, as well as the kill on Ghost in the very first, or Neptune's in the very first round. We'll see how Bar goes. This is their third site, in theory, their weakest site. But so far, Sonic seemingly uncoordinated, getting caught off guard as single players, rushing into sites when they don't really have a lot of great intel. Just the plays don't seem to be there in terms of actually being able to get good map control and push it forward. They seem to be making very risky moves. I gotta imagine that's due to some limited intel. They don't really have any intel-related operators here to do much about that outside of the IQ. Again, we're seeing so little roam control. Yes, Lion is banned, but he's still got Dokumi and Jackal. So there's opportunities to be able to do something about roamers. Sonic's though just hoping, I suppose, that uh, droning for each other will do the job. Like that evil eye there with the, the tree on one side of it to help guard it from other angles in the courtyard. Interesting choice. Got a deployable shield here to come out for just a second here in by Haina. Hopefully set up a little bit of crack on the other side, but maybe not though. Just to be able to help defend the bar even more adequately. Castle barricades as well to try and shut off some of this so they can roam a little bit more. Hopefully Haina, you're not gonna overextend himself. Rexon, you have an ADS in your pocket and you're spawn peeking again. He's like, okay, different spawn, different peek. Let's go. Oh, so close. They're waiting for it. They're waiting for it. And Rexon, uh, almost an even trade. Super loses about 30% uh, of his health there. Rexon, a little bit more, but he's keeping him on his to uh, toes, they are, dude. They're going to have to spend so long just spawning at this point. I mean, it's already, what, 40 seconds into the round? At least Neptune's getting control of Aqua Balcony. Looking for, but nope, no opportunity there. Castle Barricade denying a lot of their potential rotation. They only have the one soft breacher unless they want to use some of the X-Kairos. So this is actually going to slow them down a fair amount, I think. Again, Sledge might have been a good choice, especially when you're attacking downstairs sites like Bar, because they can open up the floor as well as deal with these Castle Barricades. There's an air jab there to help prevent any rotations. Likely to come in handy, but the way Luminosity are playing, I can see them sucking up an air jab or two without much loss just because the lack of coordination intel by Sonics means an air jab's probably not going to lead to a kill. You can hear those Xkyros going off on the top floor. The breaching charge has already been used up here to open up the castle barricade that have been set by AWD. It's going to actually sit pretty close up to his opponents in the pool table, or right by the pool table. It's a lot of rounds being exchanged, but no real no real kills or any damage done inside of the build building itself. That is, Rexon in the hallway up by 90. AWD still getting close up, but they're just wasting Sonix's time so, so well. Neptune is trying to fire into the soft wall that was still left here by the minibar. But AWD on the floor, he'll find Neptune's and actually gets even more aggressive. Comes in, but super perfectly timed, turns around. So low in HP, but that's the kill he needed to make. There's three players by that one side here, along the southern side of the building, that are just waiting for Luminosity oh. to get close to them. But Rexon's gonna hit this air jab if he goes in there. And he doesn't, he falls back. There's a Claymore as well that's been set downstairs. I'm not sure if he's gonna hit into it. Go set that up a bit ago earlier on in the round in security, but... Hmm. Seems like Rexon will not fall for the bait, but we're at 30 seconds. A lot of holes have been opened up here by the attacking side, thanks to the Hibana of Goddess. So now she can go for the plan. There's a lot of stuns going in the way of Luminosity. Pixel knows that there's a player right next to him, so the Nitro Cell comes up perfectly, but Rexon has already gotten the kill, and Pixel for another one on a Ghost. Super headshot for Rexon. It's headshots galore. Avian, another one on Pixel. It's a 2v1. Hyena with 43 rounds in the magazine. Super as he turns around. Low on HP. The Nomad will save the round. And Super does it. It's a high damage 
of the ARX 200 that really wins it out for you in that situation. Had he needed an extra bullet, the Maestro could have been able to just turn around and one shot was all that was required to shut down Super. Huge credit to Super there in terms of him losing so much life initially due to the spawn peak from Rexon and still coming through and getting at least two kills for his team. Managing to clutch that Avian as well, also showing up that round. It was definitely getting a little bit stunted on that plant due to lack of time, but the just fragging out at that point. A big problem though, I think for Luminosity that round was how spread out they were. Every player on the team feeling confident and playing individually to take 1v1s or 1v2 fights just turned out a little bit problematic for them as they didn't always win those. And it seemed like a lot of the time Sonic sometimes had people there to trade as well as some cover on Crossfire, especially once uh, Avian and Super were getting close to sight. They did lose some members, but able to push after that. I gotta imagine Luminosity though, gonna learn a little bit from that round in terms of maybe not overextending themselves. Rexon was seven already, literally more than all the other players on his team combined. Odd gonna go for the Mozzie this time. Help a little bit with the droning, denying that out as much as possible here. We'll see if that's gonna be useful as Hookah. They're gonna go back to their primary bomb site. Now again, that was the third bomb site for Luminosity. So as I said, not surprising to see that be the one that they lose. That is still a position of strength that you manage to win your other two. You can't always be expected to win all of them. And well, you're gonna put most of your effort and planning into those first two, especially since now with operator bands and the map bands and all, all these other factors, you really have to factor a lot into what you're gonna be doing against a given team. So still not bad. No spawn peak coming in, I don't think from Rex in this time. Looks like he's checking cameras though for any opportunities. Looks like he could potentially get one onto the bonnet if he has the opportunity. But no, he's going to back off it, which is the smart play. They're going to be waiting for that this time. Maybe next round would be the play to do it. Drones are going to be coming out here, but they're going to have to watch out for those pests, especially since they're going to want to drone somewhat quickly because they seem to lack time on their map control. And I think Odd's uh, choice of the Mozzie is a good choice to slow them down mm -hmm. on this push, make it really difficult for them to actually get some of this map control via drones to begin with because... Luminosity tend to win a lot of their gunfights. Oh yes, they definitely have been. Sonics have been carried away a bit in their 1v1 fights, and Luminosity, especially Rexon, has definitely been able to um, follow up with even more aggression, doubling down on it every single round. That's something that is very difficult to kind of face against. Now, AWD is playing downstairs, the Mozzie that you were talking about. And he's already got a drone. That's the drone that was already picked up. Yep. So the pest launcher definitely is doing the work. And that's an important one too. Aqua is critical to the most pushes. Again, a similar thing that we had before. The P10, unfortunately, doesn't have as much ammo as the T5. And Super with pre-fire here on the corner, expecting the Mossy, but they already ran away. And Hyena will find the perfect timing here to peek against the entry of the Nomad. No, he'll hear one air jab being launched in and he will not peek against it. Wise pixel rotating up here from Cool Vibe stairs. Super will open a breaching hole from the office into the bar, or blue bar in this case, just to use this later on to shut down any retakes. And their opponent says, bottom floor retakes are very important. If you're to be able to use nitro cells, any such information, something that Mossy definitely has available to him alongside the Valkyrie Pixel. Well, so far they're managing to push this back a little bit, but as Capital Firebolts come out, it's now dependent on the smoke to hold this off. Not to mention you've got, I imagine, an evil eye to be able to see through some of the smoke that might be rigging out from Avian, but he's the only one with smoke on the team. So if their smoke doesn't lead to a successful plant and they have to go for a second one, they're not going to get it. But Super, again with the kill from similar areas last round, Rex and trading it off onto their only hard breacher, who I imagine has done the job by now, but there's the smoke from Avian. Oh, Neptune's again along the outside, but it gets fired upon very quick from Luminosity. Whenever they drop a player, it's almost an instant retake for them to equalize the numbers on every assault. Now, 3v2, definitely the advantage for Luminosity. Turn around, and it's a free kill. Avian will find Pixel, but Hyena has already done the work. Takes him out in 90. The Diffuser's already set on its own. You didn't really have enough time or enough prep or manpower to run through on the site. And that's something you really have to, to fear, but there's not much that you can do. You're pushing 2v3. You don't have really the angles for it. It's fine. It happens. But 3-1, to one, Luminosity definitely have the Sonics figured out at this point. Yeah, and they also were playing much closer to each other last round. Like you said, trading, making sure that they were getting the kills back. 
That's the thing that they lacked on the one round that Sonics won, is that particular bomb site. they don't have a Titan in defense. Everyone kind of had their own room, their own part of the map, and weren't able to be set up properly for each other to get picked off one at a time or 2v1s. That was definitely not the case last round. Yes, there were some kills that came out from the Sonics, trying to even it up, but Luminosity were there to trade everything, and they were playing close to site. So, of course, they were able to deny the actual plant. Sonics themselves didn't have a strong plant uh, strategy, it seemed, other than smokes to try and go for that. And that's the problem with trying to plant on Hookah, and part of the reason why Hookah is uh, such a strong site at the moment, Rex in there with eight, as you can see, is that there's one default plant spawn. You almost never see plants in Hookah. You almost always see them in that single spot behind the bomb in billiards. And that's the problem, is it's very predictable. You could put up all the smoke in the world, but I don't know what the smoke's really doing for you when you know where they're planting. You just go, okay, I'll throw it right there. It's not like a uh, basement on Oregon where there's a couple different possible plant spots and C4 kind of has to be, you know, there's a, a bit of a gamble to where you throw it. Or same with the smokes. It's not that case. It's just hit that spot. All they can do is kind of try and pre-fire it. They don't have Warden or, or not Warden, but I mean, uh, Gauze or anything to see through the smoke. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's not really anything they can do on the attack side to be able to, to stop someone from, say, throwing smokes or C4s at them. But either way, we go back down to Kitchen, their secondary bomb site from before, the one that they won as well. And I got to imagine at this point, likely to win again. But Rexon, not going for as many of the spawn peaks anymore. At least Sonic's not falling for them if he was. That does bode well for Sonic this time to finally not be getting spawn peaked so much. They're able to put up a little bit more of a fight. But Rexon's still going to be on the run doing what he wants here and probably getting away with it. Rexton slowly turning into the North American joystick. Yeah. Basically playing the exact same operator and really learning a similar way of maneuvering around the map the entire time, uncontested. Pixels watching here the entrance into the Hall of Fame, but there's nobody really willing to please oh, him this? just yet. Oh. Goddess, what a beautiful shot for the pixel angle. Yeah, that was definitely uh, a little bit of advantage the attacker just couldn't see because that bright sunlight. Rexon, though, playing a little dangerous there. He's still going to try and oppose them as long as he possibly can, knowing that they're going to try and push in here to take it. At the same time, a lot of angles being opened up here as they still have some utility for the hard breach, although being used on soft walls. Some of the time. No, that was, a, that was a reinforced wall. I just couldn't see the bolts that well. Neptune's, though, on the roam hunt for Rexon. Here we go. The fight coming down. Rexon, unfortunately, looking the wrong way, rotating over to the other wall due to the pressure from Ghost. Good teamwork here coming out from Sonics. This is more of what we needed to see. Now they've got a man advantage, five to three, as they start to open up the floor. Again, they don't have a uh, buck or a sledge, but they've got plenty of breach charges on maybe even three of the operators, because we saw Nomad carrying them earlier. You've got IQ carrying them, and possibly also Ghost with them as well. Three of them left in the pocket of Super, as he's also on the hunt for that low level roamer here, potentially to come back up. He could try and stop these stairs as well with those air jabs, stop any rotates back up, which is good because you don't want anyone rotating up while you're focused down. And Neptune's finishing off a hyena. This could be a Sonic's round. Now, a reminder of why you might be seeing so many breach charges is the fact that the buck is banned. So no sledge will be played, but you still retain a lot of flexibility of operators, plus the breaching charges, which is great to have as well. Thomas will go in, we'll find one kill. We're going for the quick reload, but now here, here's people running into the goo mines. It's got us. The opposite end of the map. Capital will use his crossbow bolts. The plant should be going down as we speak. There you go. Goddess will try to stick it. You can't actually find the angle on her. Unfortunate for Thomas, but the fuser set. Havana will peek it very swiftly here, but not really allowing him to do much. Ghost is upstairs and just watching from the bedroom. Very well done by the Sonics. They use all of those breached holes to their advantage. Great crossfire angles, too. They had the door as well as the uh, the plant spot and then above. There was very little chance of him being able to successfully fight all of them unless they peeked him one at a time. But despite the loss on the bomb site, they're actually going to change over to bar, realizing kitchen maybe didn't work as great without the spawn peak early on, potentially. We'll see if they can do bar a little bit more successfully this time. No real change-ups coming out here from Sonics. They're just sticking to what uh, somewhat works. We'll see, though, if the bar defense can be a little bit better. Odd going to sneak from the castle there. Pixel going to bring out that Mozzie, something I don't think was a huge aid on the uh, last bomb site. But we'll see how things shake down here. Sonics, though, are one point away from actually managing to tie this up. What looked like it could have been a sweep to an extent from Luminosity. 
Rexon not in super effect that round. See the kills there. A little bit getting caught up from Sonics, who are a bit more evenly distributed in terms of those kills. Some of that was Rexon getting pinched, and I think I think Rexon's death was uh, indicative of how Sonics played that round. A lot more teamwork, a lot more coordination, a lot more flanks and pinches. You saw it at the end of the round as well on the Legion. Just much better coordination in terms of pinching people, in terms of droning, in terms of uh, sandwiching them in positions where they couldn't get away. And this is a map, as I've said before, that could be difficult for Roamers to escape unless they want to run through that courtyard. So that is probably the way Sonic should have been playing a little bit earlier. But we'll see if Mozzie can be a factor in this. They almost need the Mozzie and the Mute to just really deny Sonic's droning so that they can get away with stuff and deny their ability to coordinate like they did last round. And we'll see how they're going to play it this round as they uh, get all set up for this attack. But of course, they're going to need to take the top floor to start to attack down on this kitchen again using those breach charges all over the floor. Something to note as well on the buck play. Yes, he was banned, but also there are some people who have no been noting since the last patch there were seeming changes to recoil, and one of the biggest sufferers of that is buck C8, being a little bit different on the recoil. Same with the LA5, yeah. so that might be why Sledge is also not being heavily played. And the, the problem is those sorts of changes are never actually mentioned in the patch notes. I don't think that was intentional either. I think, yeah. I think they might have been unintentional changes. Obviously, I can't speak for Ubisoft on that, but I don't think those were likely to be on purpose. And I think they slipped in and the pros caught them pretty quick, but it has made it kind of throw off their game a little bit, where it matters a lot at this level of play. Also matters in my own casual matches. Thank you very much. My late night 3 a.m. casual matches. Why did your drone movements change? <laughs> yes. It has stopped working. <laughs> My drone recoils all off. Oh, you see Mozzie had captured a drone there. We don't always get to see mm -hmm. whether or not he's captured a drone unless he happens to be viewing it a lot of the time. But some good intel going to come out from that in combination with the black and the evil eyes. So definitely a lot to work with here, not to mention denying Sonic's ability on that drone. Air jabs, though, going to try and deny a rotate. You saw someone right on the other side of that little mini bar. It's odd who's going to be stuck now. He actually rotates out of the room, but oh. doesn't matter. Not sure why he was looking the other way. But still, it works very nicely here for Neptunes. It's very good use of the air jab as well. Super has been doing pretty decently this game so far, and Nomad definitely fits very well with his playstyle. I'll use another one. Oh, an ADS was still there. Unlucky. I think because he thought he shot the other jab successfully, that he didn't think about another ADS being there to help with that nice angle here from above by Neptunes. They're doing a good job on getting the kills and pressure, but. Time's dwindling here, 45 seconds, and while they do have top floor map control, I don't think they have enough kills to guarantee it's going to turn into something. Rexon, just going for it, gets the kill onto Avian. That is their planter uh, support down now. Huge kill here on the Capitao, something that you'd love to have later on in the round. Goddess will move in and will take a decent chunk of damage from the smoke, actually at half HP. Hyena will find one, a rotation down from below. Pixel will connect and find two for free in the Nitro Cell. But Ghost and Goddess are down, Neptune's all on his own. He's gonna have to go through all the last three of Luminosity. The Maestro pre-firing, and Pixel from behind turns around with a Roni. And Han the Mozzie cleans up Neptune's and all of Sonic's fall down. It's a bit of a Sonic move at that point. Luminosity, very clear yeah. on the end of this. It's a bright place. <laughs> oh boy. You gotta, you gotta, I say, tune the contrast on this one. Yeah. We already had Parker just really hitting those uh, high notes on the puns earlier, so I don't know if the audience is tapped out at this point of, of all that. No, it doesn't matter. Apparently what, what we say is not the same, and we can't do the America Light, like um, the America Light references as Parker can, so what? we shouldn't even try. The America Light, can Canadian. Oh, America's hat. Yes. Okay, yeah. Or or pants, if you look at it the other way. Who's looking at it that way, Australians? <laughs> yes. Hey, is Dev Marta not a friend to you? Does that mean that Mexico's America's sombrero when you're Australian? Yes. All right. Rexon only managing to pick up one that round, but Pixel with some great plays. And that shows why Mozzie getting a C4 is a big reason why he's even more of a potential pick for teams, which is going to be AV in this round. Now, some, some players like the Roni, as you saw, I believe, from Pixel. Some like the Commando 9. Both great guns. And I really, there's not a, a whole lot of 
choice in that. I mean, you just pick whichever one you're most comfortable with. It doesn't seem to matter a ton. And the Super Shorty, of course, a great secondary. So overall, Mozzie, a very strong de operator debut. I mean, yes, he's been in the game for three months, but this is his pro league, pro league debut of sorts in, in the last week or so. And it's been very strong. We'll see if Avian's able to capture any drones with his pests like Pixel did last round. But also that C4 was a, was a big component. Similar plays coming out from Luminosity, but Rexen already on a bit of a tear early on in the beginning of the game. Going to be on, I got to imagine, his favorite operator because he's always destroying with that F2. He's going to be on Twitch, something I think is going to be very strong, but a Sledge actually coming out from Luminosity, so the Buck ban, they're just going to uh, roll with it because Sonics was the one to actually ban the Buck. Mm -hmm. So I got to imagine it was a counter pick, maybe even to Thomas, but he's going to be going with Sledge instead. And it actually paid off because Buck wouldn't have been able to open up those castle barricades from the outside, so. Oh man, I love having a gun that covers up three quarters of my screen. Yeah, Aug. Aug is like just sticking your hand in front of your face, peeking through your fingers, and trying to fight. IQ is the only one that holds the Aug that way. You don't hold it that way in real life? Oh, I've never held an Aug personally. I've seen it in Vienna. I mean, the airport, there's all security is running Augs, so it's pretty cool to see. It's very futuristic. So you didn't try and just take one from security and hold it? No, I. Look, I have my moments, Devin. It's nice to see the horizontal recoil a little bit stronger in the F2, and you got to see it right there when he was trying to shoot the door. The old F2 would hit more of the door and less of the door frame. So that was a good demonstration of how it has been slightly nerfed in the way it fires, and a little bit less powerful, but still the rate of fire is just a chainsaw to your face. There's not much you can do about it mm -hmm. most of the time. Yes, the you know it shifts a little bit more, but you're still likely to creep up to a headshot half the time. So overall, I think still a very powerful operator, but Rexon's not in a position to kill anyone just yet as the last remaining Castle Barricade sits there just taunting him because Cool Vibe Stairs is the real problem for him. He needs someone to fire some kind of... Oh, oh. what? Hello. Hello. That's a free kill right there. A lot of kills coming here. Neptune's getting two of them, and Odd getting one onto Avian as well. Luminosity now at an actual one-man disadvantage here. I hear an air jab go off as well, but Rexon finds one, Thomas another, and it is now down to Super to find two decently fragging operators here. And I gotta imagine this is not gonna happen here. He's gonna try to give away his position. Thomas just waiting for a potential peek. And the Castle Barricade actually gonna deny his own entry into sight. What? What are they? They're just peeling off at this point. Well, there's time. Yeah, no, there's certainly time, but you kind of knew where he was at. That barricade is so hot. Yeah. Interesting choice. I can imagine it's one of the Super 3000 IQ plays that we just haven't seen the full ramifications just yet. It's usually the case. Well, Super is now trying to rotate from around the backside in luggage, and this is really the only thing that you can do in this situation. Impact Grenade is in hand. It's a lot of damage to Thomas and actually takes down Rexon. Super, definitely possible for him to win this th out. Thomas being low, an impact grenade can definitely do a lot of damage to him, but Thomas, beautiful on the SMG 11, gets the kill, cleans up Super. And I wish we could see that kill. Is it the AUG? <laughs> it's literally like you're using the right. AUG. Augmented vision. Yes. I oh. never asked for this. <laughs> Madam Jensen. I need to re- I feel like kicks right now. I didn't get that reference. What do you mean? Did did you not? I I'm sorry. Day sex? Big whoosh right there. What? They oh yeah, yeah. You know, I don't I don't play for the story. I don't remember characters' names. Yeah, but that's like a I had to literally replay that game to specifically get to that part early on in the story because it's so iconic. Well It's like watching a pro league show when Emzo's casting and not sticking around for the dad jokes. It, it, it's that, like, I'm just trying to put it into perspective. Okay, I'll go home and watch the YouTubes of it, okay? Thank you! You can come You can come to my place. I also have it all installed. Anyways, that's First it. First a kiss and then an invitation to your place. This is getting a little off topic here. There's a HDMI cable for you somewhere. All right, well, Luminosity uh, looking to mercifully end this soon the way things are going, <laughs> bringing out the Blackbeard. So it can go. <laughs> so, so it can come over that HDMI cable. <laughs> It's an interesting evil eye spot, actually. It helps a lot with uh, checking the, the top part of the destroyed wall. It's more to make sure you don't overcook the food, but yeah, it's a good point. The, the top of the wall there, good position. Super actually going for, oh, I thought he was going to go for a deagle spawn beak. No. That would have been juicy. No. All right. He's got the mag daddy skin on, so that's what matters. And that's what matters. 
It's Neptune's awful, but it's beautiful. <laughs> Neptune's going to be playing the Mozzie, but Avian bringing out a Doc this time. Honestly, I don't see Doc being as great an operator for Avian. But I don't want to I mean, mean and say why. It's Doc. It's an MP5 with an A. I think literally anyone can do well with it. Now what I'm interested in is the Blackbeard. We, there's a, a lot of talks recently about Blackbeard and his position in Pro League and competitive play in general. I definitely think that he has a spot. It just now there's a lot of alternatives that are just better. I like, he misses the hammer, so he's like, you know what, I'm going to shoot it out of anger. Almost hits his own drone in the process. But yeah, the Blackbeard is definitely good on this map in general. And you see, oh, oh right oh. into a pest. That's a highlight. I like that he shoots it at least. Redo. Good thing he only gets two and not three, but that was... Neptune's got to be feeling somewhat good about that. There we go, at least that both shock drones down. But Rexen still going to have the F2. More holes being opened up here as Thomas will come in. The back theater is got to be cleared. Thomas, I need grenade, whatever. I can find whatever. That's the second time he, he just shot something instead of using his utility properly. <laughs> just shoot heads low. Right. Shoot it. Blackbeard's there to do just that, but Ghost actually gets one with a shotgun from below into Thomas. That means uh, the vertical play not going to be happening as much from Luminosity. However, it's only a minute 24 into the uh, match, and they have an uh, okay amount of map control starting to open up some of the floor. I'm not sure how many breathing charges are left here for Luminosity, or really if there's anything available for them to use. All the cameras shot down. You can see the bulletproof camera that was set there by Avian. It's basically to allow... <laughs> it's getting a little crowded yes. in theater. One of you might want to go. Oh, God, it's a beautiful shot on a oh. pixel again. It's literally the second time. It'll be a little more spacious in that room now. Help them out. Definitely the case. Well, finally, some man advantage here to Sonics. Might be able to pull this room back here, especially with Ruxin losing his very important drones. But they still have the Blackbeard, but both the Blackbeard and Havan have taken a bit of damage. However, Odd doesn't uh, care so much. Trades that back onto the Maestro. Now even it up, 3-3, three, three, 30 seconds left though. He's looking ready to steal. <laughs> Odd, you trying to tilt us? There's no wheel drive at this point. Rexon will come in through the lobby and finally the kill will be found. Avian taken away. A 3v2. Ghost and Super are full HP. There's barely any time left and smokes are all available. Ghost will find the kill on Odd. So Rexon will start to marry his way, will go his merry way into the site and Ghost just pops on up with a shotgun in hand. <laughs> he finds two free kills by the end of it. Make that three in total in the dying seconds of the round. The best way to deal with Blackbeard is just with a shotgun. Delete some. Yeah, absolutely. That was the right play. It was an interesting position, a, a, a position you rarely see anyone in. That was a. Uh, I got to imagine the comms at that point were like, what was he doing there? Why was he there? You know, the typical ranked call out. Why are you there? Why is he there? Right? Why would you do that? And it worked out very effectively for Ghost, though. Uh, who'd already gotten a kill before this. Well, I think that might have been a 3k for him that round. Just shotgunning them to death. Well played. Just taking advantage of their lack of time to force them right into a pump. We'll see how Hookah goes, though. As they already have uh, tried it once and not succeeded. Sixth pick from Hyena teasing the Blackbeard again. We're going to sneak off it. And Super again going to be bringing that Castle, who castled himself out of sight last time on Hookah. We'll see if he does the same setup this time. But Sonic's still a bit down, but at least it's not match point yet for Luminosity. Rexon slacking a little bit. You know, he had a really good start, but I feel like he slowed down. It's given a chance for some of the other players like Thomas to show up and Pixel. Odd also maybe not having as good a game as I would have expected kill-wise. Sh should I call him Odd or AWD? Uh, you've been calling him all-wheel drive, so I guess, I don't know why you're asking at this point. No, really, like, I want to make sure. Or, or you could be, like, uh, Kingston Terms called Doodle most of the time. For their name. Well, that's what he goes by as well as Doodle. I'm not sure why he decides to go with Odd for his in-game name then, but... These doorways, what is with the crowding in these doorways for both attackers and defenders? At least it's castled up now, so that can't happen again. And then here we go, the prep. Gonna come out with the hits to make sure there's just one hit left to be able to get through it. Need to go through 10 and then leave it till 11, right? So that way Super can come back and just smack it if a situation like that comes up again. So he doesn't have to use an impact or try and pull it down. So that's good prep. And I like the way you do it in the corner so that way it's uh, you can't see it. Even mm -hmm. with a drone, you wouldn't be able to notice if that was the case. 
So that's one of those little tricks you could pick up from watching Pro League. Uh, nice uh, evil eye there that can see through the holes as well as to be able to see behind and the doorway. I like the both doorways as well. That tap is definitely going to be on a microwave gaming video very, very soon, probably. Yeah. The instant the Pro League is over. It's <laughs> usually the case. By the way, for, for people that are watching and like take this as a negative thing, on the contrary, I'm actually very happy that this is picked up by more mainstream uh, content creators because it, it allows people to learn things that are from Pro League and it's Aww. a beautiful thing because there is so much to learn. Rexin unfortunately will lose his shock drone. He's still managed to get one battery. Yep. Is it worth it? That's let him work it. <laughs> That's a reference I do get. There you go. So shock drone will be ran all the way from the back and should actually be lost here. I'm not sure yeah, it was I spotted. It, I think it was probably shot at the top of the stairs, mm. unfortunately. Rexon just not having the best drone experience. Spot coming out here. They are trying to take VIP control if they can, but so far it's actually being contested fairly well by the Sonics. No one has taken any damage yet, and it's a minute and a half into the round. There was almost some damage, but that reinforced wall stopped it as well. Rexon, though, getting control of at least Aqua. There we go. Setting up some more air jabs here to control these rotates. They're at least getting some of this map control, but again, not turning it into kills. They're running pretty low on time here. So far, not looking like they're going to be able to get set up for a play. If they get desperate for a rush plant towards the end of the round again, we could see Sonics with some uh, some good stoppage of that in terms of what we saw last time from Ghost, for example. But putting all the castle barricades on the windows didn't really do a lot for them with the sledge in play. So i got to question whether or not the, the castle is still the right play there. Shots coming down, taking a bit of damage onto Ghost there. Had they been able to finish that off, that would have been good because then you can go for a plant without worrying about the smokes and just C4, which I... I think maybe they have one C4 at most from AV in there. Reloading, oh, looking for the plate down underneath the vent there as well. Things seemingly stalled out at the 30 second mark as they start to go for grenades to try and take over Hookah itself. But this is the flank they want to do. They don't want to deal with it. I was going to say Ghost. Oh. Lead, there's from the hallway the Maestro. Got us. Very well done. Avian with one more Nitro Cell, but. WD is already on the side. He finds one in the back, but can't actually land it. Ghost will drop to the floor and find the kill on Odd and leaving Pixel all on his own. And then Avian turns around from the hallway and finds him. Sonic's a beautiful defense here on nine. And you know one thing? This is the second round we see it. It's odd to see an attack go through Hookah in Pro League. I mean, it had to have been something they called out. They decided the the aqua push wasn't going to work out the well, but they had so much control of that side of the map, they should have at least feigned a push from there, but it was also pushing in to try and fight the bar with leaving yourself exposed to the hallway. That was a big mistake. They didn't have control of cool vibes or 90 or something where they could put counter pressure on the hallway. Had they had that, I think that would have been a lot much more doable attack for them because controlling 90 means obviously something like that can't happen, but it also continues to put pressure onto cool vibes even if you can't directly control that. They could even put an air jab potentially in a position to try and help hold uh, onto cool vibes if they're able to push someone all the way downstairs towards the kitchen or bar. But in that situation, they didn't really have a lot of that control and instead kind of rushed in a little bit in what they thought was an opportunity. But instead, maybe they needed a bit more utility to do some damage to Ghost because taking Ghost that would have meant they could have focused a little bit more. At least, though, Odd was able to get in and get the one kill through the rotate hole. But Sonic's now one point away from catching up. However, because Sonic's won the last two rounds in a row, that means they now have to go to the third bomb site. We saw what happened to Luminosity when they went to the third. Wasn't their strongest bomb site. They did win it uh, the second time around, though. But this could be where. Uh, Luminosity is able to take it to the match point if they're able to win on this round. Super looking to go for a similar camera that he did earlier. Let's see. Mm. That's going to end up leading to anything. Could even go for a spawn peak if he wants to be cheeky, just because I imagine Luminosity is not expecting any spawn peaks. Just as out of revenge for what Rexon did earlier. The same black eye spots that Super has been going for here for the past few rounds, and it works out pretty well. It gives you a lot of info on any potential moves near the lobby. <laughs> Interesting note, too, we're on Penthouse, of all places, for their third bomb site. A rare bomb site to be played these days, especially without Mira in play. It's just, it's just not played that much anymore. And for it to be their third bomb site, as opposed to playing in bar, is an interesting choice. Sorry, I was dying there, so thank you very much. I docked you. I docked you. Thanks for docking me there. You got it. So, uh, well, since I am back alive and zombies did not eat my neighbors this time around, that's an, that's an old one. Oh, that's an old reference. So good. <laughs> At least the DJ booth will be taken control of here. You can walk into really whatever part of the site you'd like, but... Usually, 
It's take control of bathroom, take control of Hall of Fame, and take control of the lounge itself. Once you have that, then your assault is very doable, but you have to worry about players downstairs. Nitro cells are always something that you have to keep back under your head, and at least it's fortunate for Luminosity that it won't, won't have to worry about a pulse, but they will have to worry about Agent coming in to support Go, or support Super, excuse me. So Nitro cells will definitely need to be something you keep in the back of your head. There's so many rushes into yeah. Penthouse that have been ruined by a well-placed Nitro. And that's why they're going to have to clear from below if they can help it, just to make sure that it's not the case. They, they, they don't have the Pulse, but they do still have the Black Eyes at least to be able to spot for those, as well as potentially Evil Eyes that could even go for the Mark. Ooh. Unfortunately, Rexen again with the Twitch Drone fail. Shocking. Certainly not working out for him. Pick so... Conf confirmation, AWD, a wild doodle. So we can just call him Doodle. A wild doodle, that's right. I, he's a little Pokemon. There goes Avian on that dock. Not going to be able to resuscitate himself now. So Luminosity finally getting some early edge, but it's cost them a lot of time. There's only less than a minute left in the round for them to make this attack. And so far, they haven't been greater risks. Is Rexon going to go for the shock from behind on Ghost? He did. And Ghost is going to turn around and realize what's going on. Now, this is a great setup there with the... Uh, <laughs> with the shield, but it's going to be very quickly dispatched by the Zofia. Oh, no, no. How did it stay up? That's really not great for the Wild Doodle. Oh, no. There's no utility left for, for Doodle to use in this situation. Ghost has already gotten a kill on Rexon, so your flank is completely open. Oh, goddess, a quick peek will find one Neptunes as well on a Hyena. Pixel even missing the shots on Super as he peeks back. Thomas takes down Super, but the round is pretty much done at this point. What a comeback. Yeah, you're done. Box. No! I like that bank shot. That was that was cute. Ooh. Shut down. Well, Penthouse working out quite, pretty well, actually, for being their third bomb site and being an off-site for many teams. Just a lot of the attack couldn't find any ground, and that the deployable shield itself seeming to do a lot of work for them in being unable to take advantage of that wall being soft. Just a lot of shots that missed. Uh, Zofia, Lifeline, I think, Somewhat cost them the round, but they also did get some shots taken onto them. They weren't able to stick the defuse. Had they been able to get the defuse down, which they were close to doing, that might have gone to a little bit uh, different ending, but it was partially down to the Zofia dying in that fight due to the deployable shield as well. We'll see how they do when they go back to kitchen, but tied up here in what could actually end up being a draw between the two former Challenger League teams, which would be an interesting outcome for a match of the day. Six pick from Thomas on to Ash of all things. Is that desperation or aggression? Desperate Rexen. aggression. <laughs> Rexon and Ghost competing with those double digits, but Rexon again having fallen off, just not being as effective, his shock drones as well, not really being that impactful. As much as uh, Rexon's really good on Twitch, I gotta say, maybe he should be playing something else. Because we're not seeing a ton out of him. Maybe he's getting some evil eyes that we're missing on Spectate, but. The drones are definitely not on point. They've been lost pretty much every single round. Sure, you play Twitch potentially for the F2. That's that's fine, but... Well, when you got Evil Eyes on board, you need to not. You need those taken out. Maybe IQ would be great in this situation. I think that would be an ideal choice. If Rexon could play IQ, I think they'd be better off. They'd be able to spot the pests as well, avoid those. Spot the Black Eyes. I mean... It's not the most mandatory thing, but I think they probably get some better results at this point from that. However, Rexon is generally a very good Twitch player, so I suppose they're just playing off of what he's comfortable with. See how this attack goes down onto Kitchen, which they did manage to win earlier on their defense, which was their first successful defense. However, I gotta imagine that Luminosity have learned a little bit from that attack. They are gonna still need to get that top floor control. Hopefully Rexon doesn't throw that right into a pest again. Rexon! It's literally a repeat. Like, this is... No, he does it the first vu. time, so he can have a shock drone come in the second time. Deja vu. What? <sighs> there we go. Get him. Get him. That's all your shock drone's gone. Every single round. Take those away from him. Oh, and there's another pest that was about to take that. I'm not sure why Mazin went and shot it when it was about to get captured, actually, potentially. Clear of the blast. See if Thomas can be more effective on this Ash that he six-picked, too. But Rexon, so far, you're disappointing me a little bit after such a great start earlier. Literally, like, that could have been the exact same clip. Either way, 
at least a little bit of damage on Avian, but it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, let me waste my shock drone on a doc who can heal himself. That's <sighs> not brilliant. Pixel, though, going to be teasing this uh, Neptune's uh, Mozzie a little bit, forcing him around, but he didn't have any more pests left to capture, and he's going to somehow win oh. that fight against Hyena with the crouch drop shot, as drop shots are at least fixed for the moment. It doesn't really work anymore, but there, we go. there you go. Finally eliminated it Thomas. It wasn't even from Pixel. Was from Thomas behind him. It's a good thing it didn't turn into a team kill, but at least it's elimination. Cap tower move for the Mozzie. Honestly, that's definitely a win for Sonics. Good use of that drone there that's going to spot that out and communicate to Pixel that there is Ghost waiting there on the hole looking for a shot. Thomas tries to take advantage of it since it was his drone, but just doesn't have the right angle. At least there's a Claymore at the top of those stairs to try and control cool vibes because time is dwindling. And so far, they've only gotten one kill, lost one of their own. That's an important one for the plant. Someone you want to lose maybe later on, not earlier. Or maybe you want to lose at all. Yeah. Oh. Revelations. But this is pretty huge for Luminosity. They have control of the top floor, and this is what allows you to just shut down rotations. But they don't have the That's... diffuser on them. Though they do. Thomas has it. There we go. I thought I saw it just sitting on the ground earlier. You must have just picked it up. I was going to say, like, don't be one of those teams that just leaves it behind. Never leave you behind, Devin. So. Now, what will Sonics do against this? Luminosity have quite a bit of work to do, but Ghost will already find one kill and then a double for Ghost as the smokes are just all up in LG's grill. Doodle will go in for the plan. He's got Pixel to support him in the back and the Sonics, they get the down that was required. No kill. Well, this is turning out to maybe not be the best debut for Luminosity. Potential tie? Yep, so far though, at least the point uh, guaranteed and the win denied against Luminosity. I gotta say though, my MVP of this match was gonna be Rexton earlier, Ghost. Yes. Ghost has made some, whether he's, whether he's topping the scoreboard or not, he's made so many important plays, so many plant denials. Just being a very strong smoke player overall. I mean, more so in the second half than the first half, but I think it's important to highlight because I don't think he'd been very impactful in the previous uh, Sonics matches that we'd seen. Even in some of the Challenge League ones, he hadn't been necessarily the strongest one. So, we'll see that where it goes. If only you could see my notebook right now. It literally says, Rexon losing Twitch drones every single time. Please stop. Yeah. In capital letters. Maybe, like, text him or something. I don't have his number. That. What? You don't have his number. How do you not have his number? Didn't fill out the usual Pro League form, where casters have direct uh, numbers to all the players, and they can get all the spicy... I say transfers and all that information to then go on their, you know, third or fourth Reddit account so they can post them and claim all the free karma. I know, we have to use, what, like Twitter and Reddit to, like, find out things sometimes. Yeah, and, and like, some check marks every now and then. <laughs> it's rough. It's a rough life. Which is uh, the case hard for knock life <laughs> yeah. for us. So... Down to Bart. Now, I mentioned that this was not being played before. Now, this is a fourth bomb site. Something we actually rarely see in this game is having a fourth bomb site set up. We'll see if that throws off Luminosity, as I got to imagine they were predicting it was going to go to uh, Kitchen. Or, sorry, not Kitchen, but uh, Hookah again. But it's an interesting choice from Sonics to change things up a little bit. So. Kudos to them and having all four bomb sites have a strategy, which of course, this map is not necessarily uh, one where there's three, you know, must have bomb sites, but Penthouse definitely had been out of favor. So we'll see how well they defend Bar. It was one that seemed to be a bit of a struggle for uh, Luminosity, as they only won it uh, one of the two times. Some angles being held here to try and stop. That's. Hell of an angle from Goddess. That's why you don't reinforce the the third panel here on the wall in the bar area. On the top mini bar, I guess. And the peak, the fire, and not enough. Just a little tickle. Bit of damage done to Doodle. He'll stay alive on the Zofia and still retain all his utility. <laughs> I like how you said that as if like he dropped something. Like you, you shoot him a little bit, he drops some of his utility. <laughs> oh no, I lost a lifeline, guys. I lost 25 HP, so. <laughs> That would be that would be interesting. Shoot the utility right off them. 
Maybe that's something for the future. For Siege 3. Ooh, that was definitely close to dying here. Hopefully he can cook this just the right amount as there is no ADS set up in there. Does manage to uh, blacken the room a little bit, but that's all. Rexen, again, being super effective with the shock drones. At least there was no Mozzie this time to catch it. Yeah, right. At least he shoots it after. doesn't let him keep it because nothing worse than getting shot by, you know, zapped by <laughs> a defender captured. Oh, going to go for the so fireball there. Ton of damage, but he gets forced back. Grenade thrown. And actually, that drops out of the hands of Thomas. As goes for, goes goes for a quick peek. Bit of a tongue twister there, but a lot of twisting and turning happening for Luminosity to try to find something, really, to break through the Sonic defense. There's no top floor control, which is something that really boggles the mind. And when you're so far into the round, you can't really recover from it. It's definitely a mistake that happened. Rexon will find one kill. Utility being used in the back as Rexon will again. Fire on in. Ghost will get the second one. But Rexen taking down Avian alongside Doodle. He finds one of the Zofia. Ghost is low on HP. 15 seconds left on the clock. You need to plant right here, right now. Neptune's holding the rotation up in 90. A triple kill for Rexen in the round so far. Neptune's pre firing, but Rexen, the quad kill to win it out. And it seems like he doesn't really need any drones to use. It is all about the infamous F2. <laughs> infamous? Is that your play on Infamous? <laughs> well done. Well done. Thank you very much. It means a lot coming from you. I'll even, like, I'll, I'll sign a note to that effect. Just it was okay. Rexen and Ghost, though, seemingly competing with each other, but Rexen redeeming himself for all the failed shock drones that last round. Just slaying everyone to make sure he had an opportunity to show off one last time. But overall, gotta say, that comes across as a very defender sided match between those two is, of course, in an end up in a tie, which means they won just as many defenses as each other pretty much. So, Should we count all of the mistakes that were made?